Hi right, guys, um, we're back today working on a 2012 Forester. Customer wanted uh, some fog lights put in it. So I got the fog lights. Car didn't come with fog lights, so we're gonna add them to them. <coughs> All these Foresters are pre-wired with fog lights, which makes it really easy. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys how to install the fog lights, and then we'll go ahead and do the, do the switch on the inside. So. Today the lift is not available, so I'll be on the ground showing you guys how to do it. So if you're probably at home, this is probably what you'll be doing too on the ground. Get a clip remover like this. There's a couple clips in the bottom you gotta remove. And the little delete cap that's sitting in here needs to come out. But it just pops out. So there's one clip right here. Oh <clears throat> looks like this. So if you get a clip remover, flathead. There's one there and there's one here at the very end right here. I'm going to remove that one out of the way. The actual liner. There's one more 10 like right here that holds this liner in place. Let me grab my 10. It's right here. Right by the tow hook strap. You'll see it. And this is what it looks like right here. Little tan goes in the clip. So basically, you should have two of these guys and one of those. And this thing, this clip should, if you stick your hand back here, see this? It just pops out, it slides out. Hey, I got a better idea. Check this out. I'll show you guys. This is the liner that goes in the car. There's one clip right here because there's a little bracket that goes in right here. The clip right here that goes to the bumper. Pull this clip out, this clip out, and that screw goes right here. You pull that, just stick your hand right here and just, just pull it back and you'll see down there it just peels back. So you have access to get up in there from the, from the behind. That should be pretty explanatory. So, get back down here. See this cap? See where my hand is? These pop out. You just push with your hand like this, it pops out. Very, very simple. And right here by the toe strap, where this toe hook is right here, if you look right above it, is the harness. See if you can look through here and see it. Right here underneath the water bottle, you see this little plug? There's the harness, it's pre-wired on all your Foresters. So just, just pull it out, it's on a blue, blue tape like this. So if you just yank it, it'll come out. These are out of a used one that we sell over here at SSP. Um, it's got these little black guys. You can put number 10s behind here to hold it on the bumper if you want to, or you can use these that come with it. And then this is a number 10 for here. So let me try it goes back, it goes in. You see in there, you got one, two eyes right here. It's for these guys right here. And you got a little hook right here at the top. That's for this to slide into. This thing slides right in. And then this 10 bolts from the side right here. So you just slide this thing in. And you'll feel like a little clip. It's in the spot, see? There's not much really to it. And then you gotta get underneath here, these two guys I took out. I gotta put back in. And you're not gonna be able to see it back here, but you can get in with your hand and just tighten it. There's two of them. I'll show you guys on the other side. Um, I'll put it on the bumper, the bumper out, and you guys will get, get an idea of what it looks like from the back end. So, yeah, you guys can't see a bunch of the stuff that I'm doing here, but um, let me go ahead and finish this, and I'll put the other light in the other. I got a bumper out so you guys can see how it goes together. I'm gonna tighten this 10 right here on this side. Wear some goggles, wear some eye protection so you don't get shit in your eyes. Uh, and then plug this puppy back in. Make sure you get the clip. Just fend the liner. Just push it all back in like it came back out. It's very simple. It went in one way, goes back together one way. There is no uh, wrong way of doing it. Put this clip back in. 
Put this clip back in right here, where it came from. And put this tin back in here. That's how you get the fog light installed. Having that installed, you get these little guys. There's a, uh, I believe there's a left and right on these guys. Um, or maybe not. No, not left and right. Just pop these guys in. This little tab right here, here I'll show you. Right here, I don't know if you can see. Right here, there's a little spot. This slides, slides into this spot right here. Holds it and then it just, that's it. There's no, that's all there is to it. Simple. And then you can keep these for later on. Or you can mail them to us for free. I don't, you know. So I'm gonna show you the same setup. On the bumper I have off, follow me. These two guys through here. This little clip is gonna slide up through here. So you put it in, you use an idea. Look at, if you look up here, see this right here? Make sure that this is not underneath here, it's up here. And just push up and it'll, it'll slide in this spot. These two guys go in here and this 10 goes right here. Okay, so from when you're underneath the car, you can get a screw, screw and tighten this 10 right, right through here. Very simple. So, very, very simple on how to do it. Now I'm gonna put it back on this piece right here. See these knots right here. See it slides right in there and then it, and then it, I'll show you just push it in and it clips in. That's it. So you just gotta get the little spot right here. And then it'll slide in right here. And it'll clip in. So very simple. Now we're gonna do this on the car. I already popped the cover off, so go ahead and pop this guy out. There's one more clip right here, remember? I was telling you guys. And then there's a 10 up here. And then I peel this puppy back. There's a harness plug, it's always right here. Can't go wrong. Ugh. I'm gonna put the fog light in. There we go, hard to pop. Go ahead and put these guys in, these little black screws. And if you don't have these black screws, you can just you could run number tens up here. It'll just be a little harder to tighten them because getting tools in here is a bitch. Or a problem. Okay, that those two are in. And then I gotta put this tin in on the side. So much nicer if it was on a lift. But you guys get the point. I can barely see. <laughs> I can only imagine what you guys see. Make sure you plug it in. If you don't plug this stuff in, it ain't gonna work. Voila. That's plugged in. Go ahead and put these guys back in. A lot of grease on this. <laughs> Okie dokie, this guy. Remember this. It's right here. 
You just slide it in there first. Oh, come on. There he goes. Voila. Here's your fog lights. It's still not gonna work though. We gotta change the switch inside. We installed the fog lights. So now we gotta change this thing out with one of these because it says a fog light switch on it. And there's two screws right here. You can see right here, screw and screw. These two screws gotta come out and this thing literally just slides out. So our goal is to get the, this bottom cover off and this top cover off, take the two screws out and unbolt this, put the new one in, plug it back in and put it back together. That's the plan. Pull this thing up all the way out of the way so you can get these covers. And there's a screw right down here, the very bottom. The screw right here. Take this screw out. What black guy? It's on these little clippy thingies. And if you loosen that, if that one screw holds it here, and then these guys just are on little like clips, so if you just massage it, it'll just pop right out. And top it on the other hand is a whole nother story. But you see this little screw right here? There's one more right here. So you take these two out and unplug this guy right here. Right here. And that's pretty much it. Now install it. The only problem is this thing is really hard to get out of the way. There's a, there's a couple so tighten this back up. Let me put it back up so you can see. There's one screw right here. There's a total of three, if I'm not mistaken. There's one right here. Loosens this a little bit. There's one more. Man, you can barely even see this thing. But it's in here. Put it back on is gonna be a pain in the ass. Oh crud. There's two. So you know what? Look at that. I can access that bolt right there. I'll screw this guy out. I'm gonna screw the one on the bottom out. Pull this guy out of my hand. This guy, just wiggle it. That's it. This has a fog light switch. This doesn't. They're interchangeable. Just slide this one out. I'm gonna slide this puppy back in. Put the screws back in. <clears throat> so your car doesn't come with this and you want fog lights. This is what you gotta do. We sell this stuff at SSP. Get on the website, look us up. Okay, those are tight. Don't forget not to plug this in. If you don't plug this in, you're gonna be like, what the hell, why come my stuff ain't working? So plug this puppy in. Headlights are on, that's high beams. It works. So, let this back down, kind of. This guy's gotta go back down into its spot. See this other screw right here? Remember the last one I was telling you, there was the third one? It's back here. We'll loosen that puppy a little bit. So this thing's gonna go back into place. Then you can retighten this back here. So tighten that. 
and put the screws back in. There's one right here. There's one on the other side, it's just a really hard spot to see it, but it's there. Okay. This puppy go back on. Very simple, don't force it. It should just go clip, 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 all the way around. There's no need to force any of it. That black screw, First one we took out, go right back in. Right here. So, it's all back in. Headlights are on. Fall lights are plugged in. This cover needs to come off to put the relay in. Relay looks like this, the gray relay. Pop this cover off, stick a little flathead up here or down here. It's just, it, it pops off with these guys. Very simple. These screws right here, there's one right here. Pop this guy out. There's one right here. Pop this guy out. Then just just if you snuck, if you just give it a little bit of a tug, it, it'll pop out. It's very simple. Yeah. All right. So this is once you take once you take this screw and this screw out, just kind of just pull this thing back. It'll pop out. It's got the little plastic guys. Unplug these guys here. This you know that goes right here, so you get a little more room. Unplug this guy, and maybe unplug this guy up here. Very very hard to unplug some of these guys. There you go, more room. So you see this fuse panel block right here? This is 2012, okay? See this fuse panel block right here? You got one, two, three relays right here. This, there's an empty one up here. You got one, two, three gray um, relays right here. The relay, the very bottom left, the one over, this relay right here, I put it in. This is your fog light relay. So, you can take all this apart, but if you're pretty s smart, you can just sneak one right in here. This relay moves back, so you can push and just shove the relay in here, the gray one. And this empty box, this is your fog light relay. Once you put this in, you've got this installed and the fog light's in the front, this thing will, um, will turn on. No? Yeah? Cool? Yeah. Go ahead and start just plugging your stuff back in, really. This one that came here, plug that back in. Get this guy back in the spot. And this guy back in. And then just, just you know, there's no, none of this stuff. This stuff goes in back together smooth. This is a fuse box. It already comes with the with the fuse in the fog light. You can check it though if it doesn't work for some reason, but they come in, it, it's come pre-wired and they're in there already. Make sure you plug all these guys back in, your rest of the mirrors aren't gonna work. Put your screws back in. cover back on <laughs> and I said none of this and I just did it this you can keep or whatever but there you go it's all functional that's how I put the fog lights installed on the one of these foresters and these are all from 2009 to 13 all the same